Earlier this week, I launched Gitio, a search engine that indexes all Titanium modules and Hello widgets found on GitHub. Within 24 hours, any module that is published in a public repository should be indexed by Gitio. You can search through all of the meta information from the manifest and widget adjacent, but also the README and any markdown files that are in the component. So let's search for SMS. And you see we have quite a few components here to choose from. You can also use advanced to narrow down on type, platform, or even GitHub user and repository. You can follow Git Gideo on Twitter on Git Notify to be notified about new and updated modules and widgets. Today, with the help of David, I'm glad I can announce a great companion to Gideo, the package manager. This CLI allows you to install, update, uninstall, or query information about any component found on Gideo. Let's check it out. I already installed Gideo using npm install minus e Gideo. So let's create a project. And let's make it an alloy project. Now if we go to tapp, to the module section, we add a module there, open the config.json, and we add a widget there. Now if we go to the terminal again, we can do gideo install, and we add minus g to instruct it to install modules under the global path. It will query the registry for information on the modules and widgets, download them, and install them. So as you can see, the widget has been added here, and the module is installed under the global path. Now, I have asked for an older version of um, this widget, and when I use Gideo update, It will update any widget or module to its latest version. So it will see the latest version of stat labels already installed, but a newer version of the loading widget in exists, and it will update the config.json with a new version. I can also ask it to install a specific module from the command line, like urban airship. Again, it will search the registry, but then find that the latest version is already installed as a global module. But of course, it wasn't in our tapp.xml file, so it has added it for us. It's as easy as this. Of course, we can also uninstall. So let's uninstall the widget. It will remove the directory and remove it from the config.json. So that's it. I hope this will really improve the efficiency of your workflow with Titanium. And enjoy it.